Ladies and gentlemen, I am Israel. the game is XCOM, and it's all going really rather well. The Chosen are dead. Sweet, blessed silence on the comma race. they're no longer spamming us at every opportunity. Just have to put up with the Resistance Radio, Bradford, and the Resistance Leaders instead, but I can't shoot them, so that's a bit of a pity. Just have to endure what I cannot change. What I can change, however, is the status of the Avatar project, the bond mates that are currently training up to level 3, Suzuki and White are going to need another 6 days for that. We have a second Psy Adept in training, he's just learning insanity, Adept Harry Hughes, and yet all the Psy Adepts have white hair, it seems to be a thing for them. And we've got two primary objectives, complete the Codex Brain Coordinates mission and complete the Avatar Autopsy Shadow Project. At the moment, however, I've got a data cache and decryption for the next five days, so let's go check out the Codex Brain. That sounds like it can't possibly turn into a horrible, horrible mess. Also, the Avatar Project is back to banging rocks together, so that's also a good thing. Gives us plenty of time to go blow up a few other miscellaneous bits and pieces. Hey, okay. So, we're up against Priests, Purifiers, Spectres, Berserkers, Shieldbearers, and Chrysalids. Good news, no mechs, no sectopods, so I don't necessarily need to take EMP or blue screen ammo. It's going to be completely useless. Setting course for the Chilean Control District. Yay! I've never actually been to Chile. I mean, the only thing I know about it is some vague historical notes about a load of batshit. Hey guys! Right, let's see who we're taking. So, Widow, yes, she's a specialist. And yes, she's wearing a war suit. I decided to give her the Shredstorm Cannon just for giggles. Jaws, of course, is packing the Arashi, as well as the Serpent Suit. And Bullseye here gets a couple of new toys. One of them isn't that new. And that's the Icarus Suit, just as soon as I get it off the other trooper. Thank you. So he gets it in a rather fetching green and gunmetal instead. The other thing he gets is the Dark Lance, because we killed the Chosen Hunter, we get to nick his stuff. Always very handy. Let's see what this thing gives us. So, let's see. Oh, hang on. What have we got? Superior scope, superior autoloader, superior hair trigger. Oh wow. Superior stock, so he does four damage even if he misses. And he only requires one action to fire it. Oh yeah, which means he can move and fire. We're also going to give him the Dark Claw because that automatically ignores. Actually, you know what? He's got armor piercing anyway. What kind of damage does this do? 4 to 7 plus 1. That's the Shadow Keeper. 2 to 3 plus 1. Improved aim. Kills me with Shadow Fall. Instantly conceal the sniper. Ha! Huh. Problem is the damage is garbage. It's the same as the regular pistol. As opposed to the beam pistol and the Dark Claw, which just do a ton more damage. Fine, we're going with that. Armor piercing 5. AP ammo will still help considerably, of course, because he'll need it for the Dark Lance. So we'll leave him loaded with armor piercing there. Need to get him a personal combat sim at some point. Trojan, well, Trojan is just going to have to manage without his serpent suit because Jaws is wearing it. Actually, I've got two rangers on the team. I'm going to take Trojan off, rest him for a bit. Replace him with, let me see, who could we take? Zero's tired. Mox is available, but we'll take final out as well, so we at least have a stealth point operative. And two heavies, which reminds me, Pitbull needs a war suit. Pitbull, we do not have a spare war suit. I could have sworn we had a spare war suit. There we go, thank you. One rocket launcher. And... While we're at it, uprate you to... Let's give you... It's even money, really. Venom rounds will work on most things, but probably not chrysalids or vipers, which I don't think we're going to run into. Whereas... 
fire rounds don't work against purifiers, which I'm pretty sure we're going to hit. Okay, so Pitbull, final. No one's really bonded. Unfortunately. Bit of a pisser. Oh well, we've managed without it this far. Okay, team... Actually, no, dropped the MP bomb. Almost made a horrible mistake there. Let's have the... Let's have the Frost Bomb for Giggles instead. And with that, I think we are good. Let's go see what's going on at these mysterious coordinates. And then blow it up. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Cool. Commencing operation, Night Beast. 10 to 1 gets you this mission is being performed in broad daylight. Thank you. You're not the one risking your neck. Mind you, neither am I. And yep, told you we weren't going to be doing an operation called Night Beast at night. Down you go, guys. Team on the ground. Weapons are hot. The target coordinates are just ahead. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Position oh. is obscured. The worst is nothing compared to what it could have been. Let's see, the map is... well, it looks like we're heading north and east for the most part. Lots of pretty fireflies. Okay, final. You're up. I'll be there soon. Check out that next ridge if you don't mind. I have sight beyond An alien patrol. Contact looks like shield bearer, priest, and I think it was a purifier elsewhere. Okay. Well, let's move it up. And uh, there we'll do. Don't get a shot, but doesn't matter. Yoink. Okay, jaws. Yeah, should be okay there. Ideal, I want the heavies on the high ground. Widow, move up with jaws, but stay dispersed. Or at least vaguely dispersed. That's still a bit tight. We're inviting a grenade there. We have a target. Ooh, Meat Shield Mark II. Nice of you to come along. You move up there, check the other corner. Sorted and tickle. Eh, beb, 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 beb. Rolling yeah. out. Side for the moment and let's see. That's not actually covered from their main approach, which is a bit of a pest. Okay, second line Ready. fire support for you. Down she goes. And unless they walk this way, we should be stealthy. Okay, they're not walking this way. And chrysalid burrowed. Fine, so we need to bear those in mind. Take it very carefully on the approach to the facility. Oh, great, we've got lots of lovely, angry, organic man traps to deal with, haven't we? Oh, and I don't know what that is, but it does not look good. Okay. Time to take it nice, careful, and above all, slow. Will he get compromised if he does that? No, he's just edging it, but... Should be okay. Perfect. Okay, we have vision on one shield bearer, one priest. We've still got fog of war all over the place. Okay, tickle there now. around the corner, hard cover just in case. There we go, purifier spotted. Uh, well. Honestly, I'm very tempted just to take these guys. It will blow concealment, of course, but eh, who cares? So, firing pr ambush procedures. 
Single move there. And let's see. Right, final, you are not relevant for the moment. Double move if you don't mind. Get us some flank observation. Looks good. Lancer. Yeah. Hold. Move him there. Again, reserve firepower if we need it. Tickle's good. Pitbull is set. Bullseye. Okay, move up to half cover. 100% chance. So, can't pop the priest. Can pop. Guaranteed kill on the purifier. Yeah, that sounds like a good way to start. He goes boom, the rest of them scatter, and we plan it from there. Do it. You want some more? Yeah, they spotted us. Well, one man knows exactly how boned he is. Okay, team has gone for cover. Fine by me, and... Ooh. Did he just... Did he just get a free shot? I ain't complaining. Thank you for stepping into my sights, my friend. You can't handle me. Oh yes, of course, death from above refunded the action, didn't it? Okay, uh, no targets at the moment, so that priest still got to be taken out. Fine by me. Although in this case, I think we'll just settle for just shooting him in the face a few times. Pitbull, can you do something about his cover? It offends me. No, but you can target Mark. I know she's going to miss this, almost certainly, but... Does one damage, and more point sticks a plus 15 modifier on him from hollow targeting. So, odds of this shot, now 61%. Bit better. Let's see if we can't improve it a bit further. Uh, tickle. No target. Fine. Uh, close quarters don't like the odds there. Don't. I don't want to risk him breaking cover, so we'll just have him teamwork shadow instead. Actually, no. Hold the teamwork. Shadow, do you actually have any actions left? No, you don't. That's what I wanted to check first. Now we'll use teamwork. We will overcome. Which will hopefully let her slap another hollow targeting mod onto the priesty. And also ding him a bit. Yes, I know you have. Boom. Still marked. Bullseye, no targets as yet. Just pop a reload on the rifle. And... Then set pistol over. Jaws. Still 61%. Okay. Lancer. 30%. Well, we'll try that one first. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. Yes. We are, of course, now very loud, so... Double move whoa, Widower. Whoa, whoa. She's got Ever Vigilant, so this means she'll still get her Overwatch. And now we just gently tiptoe it forwards and watch for chrysalids as we go. Pitbull, single move. Set Overwatch. Final. Uh, go loot him dry, would you? If we're lucky, we'll get a PCS or a stock out of this one. If we're unlucky... Eh, hair triggers, they've been coming in pretty handy on occasion. Wouldn't rely on it, but pretty handy. Bullseye, shift yourself up onto the next high ground. Sorted, and then set... Ah, no, that's Jaws. No, I do not want Jaws setting over. Watch, I want Jaws up one. Okay. 
and on Overwatch. Widow. Bounding advance. Let's see, we are heading somewhere. It's just a random stroll around the forest, shooting advent and alien goons as we go. I mean, what else is there to do on a Sunday afternoon? Okay, uh, double move, cross the river, soft cover. She's got some overwatch cover and she's providing some herself. Meat shield, up and join her, I think. Cleared, and then tickle, shake the lead out. Rolling out. Keep up with the rest of the team if you can while you're lugging all that firepower. Okay. Oh, we have contact. Berserker, couple of spectres. Overwatch fire. Missed Overwatch fire. Never mind, it's target marked, so the next volley should do considerably more. And then the next run. Oh, no, there's the next one. Never mind, we've got good firing positions on these idiots. We can probably take them out without too much bother. Whoop. Looks like one, two spectres. Bullseye can take those. And Mr. Happy here can just... Uh, just get shot in the face. Okay, so 100%. Not a guaranteed kill, annoyingly. So, we'll take the Berserker first, get death from above. How many is there now? Uh, three on this mission, maybe more. And then if we dead-eye the Spectre... Oh, I'm critted and killed. I honestly couldn't say, if you wouldn't mind whacking that third one as well. Yep, this gun is just a little bit overpowered. Jaws. I don't really want to go blundering into a chrysalid ambush at this point, so... Can't get a flanking shot. Just push it up. And shoot him while we've... S uh, what's I saying about blundering into chrysalid ambushes? Never mind, he's going to run into Bladeswarm. And that happens. Because the katana never misses either. Yeah. Stupid bugs. Okay, two-thirds chance. Won't kill it, but leaves them in cover. Oh, never mind. Maybe it will kill it. This is starting to feel a tiny little bit unfair. Oh, yeah, it is very clear. Move up. Overwatch. Meat shield, likewise. Tickle, double move, get yourself up with the front line. And Pitbull. Ooh, let's see. Yeah, push out left flank. Sorted. Final. I want you moving up as well. Right flank. Stay in stealth. Now let's see what the aliens come up with. N nil so far. So, Jaws, go find us another chrysalid. Bugs? Bugs, 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 bugs? No bugs to be had. We do, however, have a nice handy bit of high ground that we can take advantage of. So, Overwatch again. Widow... Take the corner. That's good. I was only going to ask you once anyway. Uh, Lancer. Not perfect, but go there. And set your overwatch. Tickle. Yeah, bib, bib, bib. I really need to do something about Tickle's mobility. Double move again, I think. Sorted. Pitbull. Move up. Risking a chrysalid jump moving that far, but there we go. But hey, that's what those watches for. Okay, 
when it works. Oh dear. That's problematic. Okay, she's got crystal poison. We need to do something about that PDQ. For the moment, however, we need to shoot the chrysalid. So move up. And shoot the chrysalid. Widow can take care of the poison next turn. I was hoping two Overwatch covers would have done the job. Bullseye, pop your next reload. And... Then hold what you've got, as odd as that sounds with long watch. Okay. Right. Quick little stop with the medic first. So stop there. Widow. Just... Did I not bring a... Did I not bring a med kit? No, I did not. Oops. Okay, the poison's only ticking for one a turn, so I'm going to let it be for a moment. Final. Up onto this observation point, see what we're looking at. I will be unknown to them. Ah, crap. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this definitely is. Not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring you back to the ship for I don't know how we're going to fit that back into a Sky Ranger, guys. I really don't. Okay, however... This is problematic. So... She has one action. Which we'll use to toss a... Plasma grenade in and get plenty of damage on those two chrysalids down there that have like been bunched up. Sorted. Right. Jaws, you're making. Actually, no, you're not making the next move. I want Bullseye to make the next move. This is why we didn't move him immediately. Or rather, why I didn't move him immediately. I want his Icarus jump ability. Come straight down. On the next fire point doesn't cost an action. We'll trigger serial. What else you got? And then we're gonna start shooting. Lots and lots of chrysalids. See that? One oh free action from hair trigger, thank you. That's another one. Serial kicks in again. Now he has got still three actions left, which is pretty hilarious. So we'll have that third chrysalid. Who's keeping score? Uh, I honestly couldn't say. Pop your auto loader. <laughs> oh god, this this combo is so ludicrously overpowered. Not him. Take the chrysalid first, if you don't mind. And then, shoot the gatekeeper. Oh, critical hit. Unfortunately, he does not have another action available. However, run and gun kicks in. And... Let's see, round the corner. And take him. Maybe. And that's how you kill a gatekeeper and four chrysalids with two, well, three guys in, well, two guys and one gal in one turn. I'm going. Unfortunately, the objective is not kicked over, so there's still hostiles around here setting Come overwatch. On. We'll move Lancer up. Dangle him out as bait, see what happens. Nothing so far. Tickle, high ground as well, please. And last but not least, P 
Pitbull still suffering a little, but get yourself into position. Find some cover. Uh, okay, Overwatch. Thank you. Anyone else? I... Okay, nope, there's another one. At least that one missed. Phew. Okay. Just, um, don't miss, would you? She didn't miss. Right. I think we've wiped out the majority of the opposition at this point. Okay, Widow, pop restoration, we need to do something about that Venom. And hopefully she's not still poisoned. Hopefully. Okay. Uh, meat shield. There we go, you're up. Single move to the gate. Okay, well, I think it just shanked our meat shield, but that's fine. Because I'm pretty sure that was the last thing covering Status the gate. All Good. Contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. Status confirmed. Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tygen and Shen to figure out what this thing does. Well, just... Just don't bring it back on board the ship, please. That would be awkward. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world... Yada, yada, yada. At some point, I'm hoping to get an opportunity to shoot that guy in the mouth. Not that I'm sure it would shut him up. Our friend from the Resistance is becoming one of our most trusted veterans. It's a testament to our cause. That and how many aliens she's been shooting. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered. You brought it back. Resembles a portal or a gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself. It will take time before we could truly understand the gateway's function. So, you brought this thing back on board the Avenger? How did you even get it into the Sky Ranger in the first place? Based on what your team witnessed in the field, Commander, it is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. New objective Etc. Terrific. So we have to upgrade the Shadow Chamber and then complete the Shadow Project there. In order to analyze the okay. alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the Shadow Chamber first, Commander. Oh, goody. Right, well, let's upgrade it. Okay, so we brought it back on board the Avenger, and then we plugged it in and powered it up. And... I want every spare trooper in that room right now, and I want guns pointed at that gateway at all times. Okay, we've got two options. All other shadow projects must be completed before undertaking the Avatar autopsy. Oh boy. Right, well let's start with the psionic gate. Eight days for that. And what else? We haven't had a retaliation strike in a while. Avenger plotting new course. We'll just patch up the worst of the damage while we're here. I mean, it's close, it's convenient. Some of our people are a little oh. worse for wear after that last Excellent. Action, but if we I don't care, it's rest, another covert action. Okay, Guardian Angels, covert actions will not be ambushed. That could be interesting. Breakthrough research. Ooh. Shotguns get plus one damage. 
Huh. Could be useful. Breakthrough on GTS. I bought all the GTS tactics anyway, that doesn't matter to me. Covert actions will not be ambushed. That could be useful. What's their resistance order? XP gains increased 20%. They're all kernels now. It's a bit late in the day for that one. Uh, yeah, let's let's research that. And we'll send along... Hmm, I want a sharpshooter on the team. Mind you, this mission isn't subject to ambush, is it? So we'll send... Martin and Bullseye, wherever he's gone. Wherever he's gone. Where did he go? Uh, he's tired after that last mission, that's why he's not available. Fine, we'll send Bishop along as well and negate the risk. Confirm action. I'll order my people to Team is away. You do that. In the meantime, what to do, what to do. Patch up the worst of the damage. And, ooh, Disciple Raven is now capable of driving people nuts. Lucky him. Let's, ooh, Schism sounds interesting. Small amount of damage and Rupture, which sets them up for someone else. Rest of the team, 21 days. One wounded, 21 available. And, well, let's just check the armory. See how long it is until she's back on her feet. Two days for that. Five days for the rest of the team to recover. Four days for the covert ops. And promote Coyote while we're here. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Promote. Uh, Blade Master, I think. Nice and sorted. Finish healing on this. There we go. Pitbull's back. So, with the team healed up, let's see. I think. Avengers just gathering mob to hit, really. Nothing else. We can get some completely pointless loot. Yay, they're bonded. I suppose, that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Cool. Things are going so well. It sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. You do that. You do that. Um. All right, let's have the breakthrough research on the shotguns. That's still available. So extra mobility. Uh, well, I was having some problems with Tickle not keeping up in the last run, but he's tired, so we'll give it to final instead. Send a scientist along. And optional soldier just to cancel out the risk of a wound. Uh, Corporal, you're up. Away you go. Start doing some weapons research. We haven't had a retaliation strike from the aliens in a while. I Bingo! Knew there was one coming. Andromedans, Archons, Codices, Mutons, Berserkers, Spectres. Okay, that is not too hard an enemy mix to deal with. The problem is going to be taking them out as quickly as possible. Ideally without losing a civilian at all, which means aggroing the entire mess on turn one. Hooky! This time around, Widow, dump your ammo, take a med kit. She gets the Shred Storm Cannon, but eh. I'm still in two minds, I might well switch her back to a Warden suit. Scorch, you're up. Gerard, make armor available. And make weapons available as well. So. Eh. Not what I wanted to do. Load out. Load the Uber Sniper. And the Dark Claw. And take a battle scanner. Just in case we get some nasty spies. Oh, she gets white. That's actually quite quite a nice colour scheme. I like the contrast. Trojan 
get yourself a wraith suit just for the grapnel storm gun fusion weapon standard grenades that will do maybe give you dragon rounds mm. yeah as strange as it sounds i'm not making nearly as much use of grenades as i used to and also check your weapons so you can have a superior stock and hmm. Let's see, superior laser sight for extra crits. Or give him a scope so he's less likely to miss anyway. I think we'll go for the scope because missing is more problematic than not critting. Let's see, rest of the team, Gerard. Congratulations, you have got yourself a Le War suit. We will get you one of your own eventually. Have a. Let's try the Plasma Blast to see what that does. And also AP rounds and Plasma Ammo as backup. Sorry, Plasma Grenades. Scorch, you just toddle along, do your own thing, and Widow is set. Alright, let's go save some civvies. As we can. Secure the site and neutralize all hostile contacts. Okay. Plus one focus for Scorch. One of those chosen is leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. No, they're not. They're dead. What they can to fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. Okay. Checkmate. Take an immediate jump. Okay, and also then toss a battle scanner. Let's see what's out there. Right, well, they're all good. None of them are sneaky alien infiltrators trying to drain our precious bodily fluids. So we'll put checkmate on long watch and double time the rest of the team. Aha! Contact! One Codex and what looks like a Muton. It's a Muton. Seven damage off of Graze. Okay, that works for me, but it will probably pop its reaction. Yep, there's the clone. Good news is that they're all nice and close and in firing positions now, so... Yeah, Rend, yes, that will do though. Nicely, go stab something. Yay! Pop. And then parry. Jaws. A single move, eyes on that codex, if you don't mind. And also gun on that codex. 46% on the muton. It's not brilliant, is it? And melee on the mutons a bad, bad idea. So we'll hold for a second. Uh, could run and gun get a lot closer with Trojan. In fact, you know what? That looks like a good idea. Running and gunning. You do that, mate. You do that. There, I think. And then 78, 81. Okay, take the codex because that... That psionic bomb it has is still a pain in the neck. Jaws. Yeah. There's Gaza, of course. Can move her up. She's still got some moderate cover there. Could combat protocol the mutie. I hope it's worth it. Or could just shoot it in the head. That works just well. Ooh, dual strike. Hmm. Regular shot. Uh, regular shot kills. Fine. Well, let's try this first. Happy now. Save the dual strike for later. Jaws, move yourself away. up. Get some more ground. And that ends a fairly successful first turn. But we're going to lose some civvies, maybe. Oh, Andromedon. And an Archon. 
Okay. Andromeda doesn't surprise you. Of course, that acid grenade is a serious problem. However, the resistance might solve that problem for us. Come on, guys. Do your stuff. And of course, it's armoured. So they're going to be wasting a lot of ammo on it. Happily, XCOM. Well, we have a... Research budget. Oh, he missed. Okay, checkmate. 91% on the Archon. Start by... Right, well let's start by tapping... Hold what she's got for the moment. Mama Bear. 30% odds. Could fire the Plasma Blaster. Let's see what effect that would have. It would make a considerable mess is what it would do. Well, let's see what this does. I think checkmate's out of the line of fire. And salvo. And it's exposed. And we're holding that shot for a second. Switch back to checkmate. Pop lightning hands. Put the Andromedon down with the free shot. Then the suit gets back up. As expected. But now, well, still not a one shot. Mind you, neither is the Archon. Okay, we'll take... Temporarily. Free action off hair trigger. She's still got two actions left. Alright. Pistol shot to drop it. There we go. Andromeda on down. And okay, she's out of actions. Fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, swing left. Target marked. Scorch. Single move. Then I want you to drop a cover pillar in front seated. of Checkmate. That should get her some decent cover. Draws right, move up, take a shot on the Archon. Not brilliant, but we do. Yeah. Unfortunately, now it's angry. That's fine by me, kinda. Widow, move up. Okay, set dual strike. Hopefully, this will do enough to take it down. Smack one, and then the teammate fires. Yeah, that was enough. Considerably more than enough, in fact. They're moving to help the other survivors. There's a large Sweet. group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. Lucky us. Okay. Seems doable. Trojan. And then move again. Or I could just let the resistance take care of them all. Mostly. Okay, checkmate. Pop your auto reload to start with. We're going to hold you in reserve for a second, so I want to jump you onto the roof of this building. But for that, I need squad sight. So. Not got close enough to use the grapple on the armor either, so cancel that move. I'm going. Shift up again. There we grapple. go, that will do. Nicely about Wraith armor, comes with a grappling hook. And, right, the aliens are now awake, that's what we wanted. They're looking at us and not the civilians, I hope. Oh, 
Okay, 100% on the Berserker, 98% on the Spectre, can't quite kill it, but you know what? Well, he missed anyway, so 5 damage off the Greys. Checkmate, pop your jump. Uh, I want you... Um, hmm. <laughs> She's got good angles from there. Very good angles, in fact. We'll drop her there. Foot hard cover. And more to the point, angles on all of the aliens. So, trigger serial. You know how this little killing spree goes. Start by dropping that one, because that's guaranteed kill. Sorted. And this one... Not a guaranteed kill, so hold the shot for a moment. They attempted to drop her into kill zone. Jaws. Uh, <laughs> run and gun, grapple, shoot. That might work. If nothing else, I can drop her into Overwatch and when the Spectre tries to come up the ladder to... Shadow bind. Ah, no, grapple's available. That will do nicely. To there, I think. Should give him a good angle with the shotgun. Run and gun should still be in effect. Perfect. Seventeen damage. Well, it's almost dead. Uh, almost, however, does not count. So checkmate. Hopefully, serial's still in effect. Job jobbed. And tap the Berserker while you're at it. Oh, got another crit. Excellent. It's on two health. Oh, and she got the free trick. Free action. Well, um, that seems to be solved. Is it dead? Yes, it's dead. Excellent. Okay, guys, you can move up. The noise has stopped. A good decision. And Widow. Okay, boys and girls, where the next... Oh, there they are. Oh, looks like a berserker and probably a couple of other things backing it up. Well, should be easy enough to take down. Oh, a codec. Ah, they crit it, which means it's going to do its clone. Okay, well, that's easy enough to deal with. I'm sure they do. Muton smash. Muton smash quite a lot, in fact. However, Muton did just run to ha hail of bullets, so Muton may be about to get... Oh, Muton very angry. Oh, Codex down. Missed that one. Good. Okay. Right, checkmate. I think I need another Icarus. It's one turn on the Icarus jump. Okay, free reload. She does not have a good firing position. Actually, she can take this Codex clone out. That'll do. Reposition her next turn. Joe doesn't have to deal with it. Oh, head trigger as well. Even better. Right, high ground, Missy. Sorted. Mama Bear. Move it up. Single action to start with. We need line of sight on... Well, ideally I want line of sight on that Berserker before it breaks in and starts butchering things. However, we'll set Overwatch for the moment. Scorchio. 
move up, get yourself to somewhere where you might actually be able to do some good. Thank you. Jaws, two turns on the grappling hook. Again, he's out of the fight for a bit. Move him up. Sorted. And Widow, just lay off the donuts and try to keep up, would you? Right, Trojan. I need you in full run and gun mode. Except that you've only got... So that's on cooldown. Right, can you take that codex in one turn? No, you can't. And we don't have line of sight on the muton. Um, mm. Wraith? Problem is, it's mostly open ground. The only difficulty they're facing. He might crit. But no one has a line of sight on the muton, so I can't coordinate an attack onto it. And that, as noted, won't kill the Codex. On the bright side, actually, the Muton's got to move into melee range and it'll trigger his Blade Storm ability. And the Codex will probably try to move out, trigger Blade Storm as well. There we go, and there's Big Ugly. Oh, and there's more Big Uglies. Lots of Big Uglies, in fact. I might have made a horrible mistake here. I forgot Codex can do that. Oh! And then there's that. Because we didn't have enough problems. And it focused on the city instead. On the one hand, handy. On the other hand... They've got units in the AO that are ignoring yeah. our forces just to get a shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. Okay, three weapon disables. The Berserkers are going to be smashing civilians. On the both side, they're all nice and bunched up. And that guy just took a point blank plasma blast to the chest without any armor. Respect to that man. Also, recruit him once we've dealt with the sucking chest wound. Okay, Codex goes pop. down and hopefully he can drop the faceless. Nope, well that doesn't matter too much, that's what Scorch and the others are for. Okay. Can't Icarus jump, she's used both of them. So instead, no stand and move up. And because that sniper rifle only requires one action, we can start popping skulls immediately. go. Free action from hair trigger. You can see why the Chosen Hunter like this gun, can't you? And another auto load. Yeah, too much fun. Unfortunately, no shots available. Um, can I get a plasma grenade down there? Ooh, yes I can. Well, let's just make a bit of a bang, shall we? Oops, who left that bike? Well, a surprise, it's angry. Okay, Mama Bear. Uh, right, sing. Let's get away from the burning car, shall we? And the psionic bomb that's about to explode. But I don't actually think there's going to be anything left by the time Jaws is done with these guys. So, Reaper. Trigger ability. Set one. There we go. And... 
Remind him why you definitely should fear the Reaper. That's two. That should be status confirmed. Yep, status confirmed. All hostiles neutralized. Technically, nobody wounded. Ahem. <coughs> Well, nobody we care about in the AAR, at least. But we lost three civvies, thanks to the Mutant Berserkers triggering, which was a bit clumsy of me. 